Alec Isagonis was the designer responsible for the original Mini. But would it have been quite the success it was without the influence of another engineer named John Cooper? He was a successful builder of racing cars in the 1950s and the man to realize that smaller, lighter, mid-engine cars were more than a match for the big front-engine competition in Formula One in Indianapolis. When BMC wanted to polish its then new Mini with a racing halo, it was to Cooper that it reached out. Success followed, notably on the Monte Carlo and other rallies, but also on road courses and touring car races. Here again we saw being light and nimble was often more than a match for brute strength. As minis diced with huge Ford Galaxies in the early 1960s. Speaking of, if that sounds like something you want to see more of, the Goodwood Revival will be live streaming this weekend. Back then, success in racing meant success in the showrooms, and Cooper tuned minis. Mini Coopers, soon became the one you wanted to drive. You say they've done this before? Although BMW licensed the Cooper name for the 21st century Mini, Cooper's operation was still happy to cater to the enthusiast. There was a tuning kit for the car that liberated some more power from the engine. Then a more extreme approach, the John Cooper Works GP. This model threw out the back seats and parcel shell, replacing them with a brace for added stiffness. Just 2,000 more minutes.